Hi everyone, my name is Annika and I'm studying food science and nutrition. So I'm heading to a lecture um, on the module nutrients and sensory properties and basically we, have, we did a lab on nutritional analysis and we were basically analyzing um, the content of different nutrients in a product that we've chosen and we're basically just kind of learning the science behind it right now. So Leeds as a city, it's a very student friendly city and has a very vibrant atmosphere and I knew it would give me the sense of belonging. And in terms of the uni itself, the campus was beautiful. There's so many resources, um, facilities, and there's always something for everyone. So there's a lot of opportunities to get involved in. And my course was also ranked pretty high and there were a lot of opportunities after graduation. So that attracted me to leave. Right now I'm gonna be attending the SSPF meeting and this is sort of like a coming together of all the school reps, course reps, and the student faculty to discuss how we can make student education better and what kind of events we could run and basically um, on how to improve on student feedback. Hi, um, the Henry Proctor house is that one, right? That's correct, yeah. so you go down that path on the outside through the red door at the bottom on the right. Okay, and yeah. follow it round the second door on the right. Okay, thank you so much. Joining everybody, um, so this is the second SSPF. So these, um, hopefully, as you already know, these sessions are set up because of you guys giving your time and energy to try to uh, communicate with your peers, but also us to so sort of to try and link up. You know, I've always been a very sciencey person. I've always loved science, even in high school, especially biology. And I was, it was one of my strengths as well. And I love food, so food and science, like it's basically two of my favorite things. My dad actually works in the industry and I did get to learn a bit about food development concept from him and that's kind of what motivated me to pursue it further. So we're headed to the Cafe Nero at the Roger Stevens building. I'm meeting up with my group for one of my modules, um, Nutrients and Sensory Properties, and we are going to discuss um, a project for an amino acid titration. That's perfect because that's exactly what I got. That's exactly what I got. Have you managed to generate a grant? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we feel slightly more. Wait, I'm so happy that we got the same PKA. Like, I watched the video. Yeah. I'm. I would like to say I'm a creative person, so I would like to kind of apply that outside of university after graduation. Obviously, I study food science and nutrition, but I would want to pursue food science more in the future and I'm thinking hopefully I would be able to go into food product development. Think about Clara in your life. So we're in the food science and nutrition common room right now and this is like a hidden gem for me and this is where I come in between lectures and labs to study and catch up on work. And it's also where I come sometimes to just eat lunch as well. So now I've got some free time between lectures, so I think I'm going to catch up on some work and some studying. So we're headed off to the Edward Boy Library. The good thing about this course is that it allows us to pick discovery modules, and discovery modules don't have to be related to your course, they can be completely unrelated, so it can be a completely different subject or an area that you're interested in. So for first year, I did forensic psychology, so it was just like a nice break from the science -y part that I do every day. Now 
I have a lab session where I'm going to be continuing on some work um, for a recent month. Labs are actually one of the things I enjoy the most because it's it's one thing learning about the theory in lectures, but then actually applying it in real life um, is a different thing and it helps us learn more and it's a lot more enjoyable as well. And now I'm adding it to the water bath. We just let the solution settle in. Um, usually if we need to like denature proteins or enzymes, etc. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take one of these cuvettes and we're going to measure the absorbance in your sample. Okay. And then you're going to do this exactly the same afterwards. So we're just going to fill the cuvette two thirds full. And then we'll put it in the spectrophotometer and take a measurement. Okay. So if you just have a look in here, so we're just going to place it in front of the reader, shut the lid, and you're just going to read the absorbance that's shown on the screen there. Okay. Would you like to have a have a go? Wonderful. I'm just going to say it on there. And to end the day off, um, I'll be going to a social at the library pub. Um, for, and this is for the Link to Leeds um, Ambassador Program. Now here at the library, where I'm going to be attending the um, Link to Leeds Ambassador Social. This is like an informal social where I get to meet the other ambassadors and there are new ambassadors as well. So we just kind of familiarize ourselves and just make new friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this has been useful and hope to see you around. Mm -hmm.